some sick stuff going on in LA with men, single men. I want to talk about it, okay? I want to talk about it. And now I'm just as much of a romantic as the next girl. <laughs> but if I'm dating slash sleeping with a guy and he shows up on my doorstep with anal beads and a flashlight, <laughs> I'm going to ask a couple of questions. <laughs> like, what's up with the flashlight? Do you guys think it's okay to drink while you're pregnant if you're planning on giving the baby up for adoption? <laughs> I got some pretty bad news the other day from my gynecologist who told me that I got herpes from my vibrator. <laughs> that is the last time I buy anything on eBay. <laughs> Speaking of romance, <laughs> I'd like to talk about my last birthday. Now, are you, I mean, are there single girls here who get vibrators for their birthday? Yeah, okay, yeah, right. One or two is kind of funny, right? 11 isn't. Okay, when I go out to dinner with my girlfriends and I get 11 by, it's like, what do you guys think of me? You think I'm sitting at home fucking double teaming myself? <laughs> what? All you need is one, okay? I get it, I get it, Jessica. God forbid I died in the middle of the night, my mother had to come clean out my apartment, you know? And 11 vibrators with like four pornos. One of them's about a family. You know, no. It's humiliating is what it is. I have this fear of becoming, I have this fear of commitment solely because I have a fear of becoming one of those happy couples, you know? The kind that are always running around like a couple of pigs and shit. <laughs> so happy for themselves, you just want to fucking break up. You're like, oh, I have a roommate like that. We'll call her Camel Toe. And... <laughs> She is so annoying. All she ever talks about is her boyfriend. And all he ever talks about is his feelings. <laughs> He's like two minutes away from his first period. <laughs> and he writes her poems like a little fucking homo. <laughs> like, guys, if you're writing poems, you're making up for some other shit, okay? We know, okay? You're making up for like, you know, a big hairy back or one ball or something. <laughs> I don't want poems. Save the ink for somebody who gives a shit, okay? <laughs> I don't want poems, I don't want roses, I don't want you calling up radio stations, you know, dedicating Celine Dion vagina music. No, thank you. Pay my rent, motherfucker. <laughs> and we'll talk about how much Chelsea loves you. I, I don't like any of my friends that have gotten married. We're not friends anymore. Because they make me be in their wedding and you spend like $3,000 to fly across the country, you know, throw them a bridal shower, get the dress, uh, blah, 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 everything. You know, what do we get out of nothing? A piece of chicken, you know, and a roll, <laughs> and a roll in the hay with her hillbilly cousin. No, thank you. <laughs> I could do that at home. My Family's not close by accident, no. <laughs> and then they act, they go and register. Who decided that was okay to go register and pick out your own shit? No, I don't think so. Why don't I register so I'm still fucking single? Okay, why don't you buy me a salad bowl? <laughs> <laughs> they go register at Williams Sonoma or a pottery schmuck and you gotta go type shit in. It's like, and then they act all surprised, like, oh my God, thank you so much for your thoughtful gift. <laughs> it's like, you picked it out, bitch, what? <laughs> There's no thought at all put into this. I typed in your name and a ceiling fan came up, no. <laughs> thank you very much, I'm Chelsea Handler, enjoy the rest of the night.